Hi, how the fuck are we doing? Are we good? Good? Okay, good. I just woke up. It's Monday morning. It's gonna be a good fucking week. It's gonna be a good fucking day. So I hope you guys have a good fucking week too. I hope you guys have a good fucking day. Of course, I hope you have a good fucking day. Anyway, we're vlogging today and I'm so excited. But I made like a whole new life schedule, whole new just like good vibes. And I'm really, I like it so far. Um, it's currently 8.15 and you guys know I like to wake up early to go to the gym, but I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna be like, well, I should have woken up earlier today, but I went to bed last night later because I was getting stuff prepared for today. So that's okay. That's okay. That's completely valid. Currently, I'm waiting for this clip to upload to my computer because I uploaded it to my computer last night. And I was like, okay, perfect. Like that sets me up perfectly for the morning. Like I could just get right into editing. I don't even have to wait for it to get on my computer. No. Because this morning when I went to try to edit it, like literally two minutes ago when I went to try to edit it, it was like, oh, we're actually missing the camera. And like whenever that happens, it just basically means, I don't even know what it means, but it basically means you need to try again and hope for the best. So that's what I'm doing. I did my morning, like my video, I finished editing my video and I'm so excited for you guys to watch it. It's already up. So if you haven't watched it, please go watch it because I love it. I might put it on Spotify, like be in my podcast era maybe. I don't know. But it made me really happy while I was filming it. But anyway, my mom was here the other day and we did my taxes and she told me to tell you guys that it wasn't that bad. And she's right, it wasn't as bad as it was the first time. So we got them done, thank the Lord. Um, and thanks to my mom, we got them done. But then she was like, oh, you should take your nightstands and like use them as side tables. And I was like, but then I won't have nightstands. But when I was filming yesterday, I was like, oh, I need to make it like a cute little comfy space. Look, like, how cute my little table and my nightstand and my mirror and I took the mirror out of my room I have two of these mirrors and it just like looked really weird without having a mirror in that corner so I just took the one from my room so decoration phase one kind of but yeah I'm really excited to like keep decorating and keep going and just just vibe it out and I still don't really know exactly what my vibe my vision is like I kind of know but I don't know like I'm, I don't know until I know but um oh that's what I was gonna say so IGK is a hair brand and they sent me some PR and I just tried out the shampoo and conditioner and the good behavior line. Oh my God, that smells so fucking incredible. Like I will be repurchasing. Obviously like I need to dry my hair and see what it did for my hair. But my hair is pretty easy because I have just like pin straight fine hair. So it's pretty easy to make my hair happy. Um, but this is the Spirulina Protein Smoothing Spray. Keratin light -like treatment, 24 hour frizz control, 450 degree heat protectant. I don't know if you use this on wet or dry hair. Spray, gener spray generously over damp hair in sections and blow dry smooth. Apply to dry strands before flat ironing for optimal results. Okay, so you can use it on wet or dry hair. I gave my mom the leave-in conditioner because she has super curly hair and she likes to control the frizz and it's like a frizz control product, so. <gasps> Is it done? Did my video finally finish exporting? <sighs> I hope so. When I, uh, I am like obsessed with how this video turned out and I, I just, if you haven't watched it, please go watch it because it's more of like my, um, I don't know what side of me it is. It's more of my like real life, like advice, like good vibes, good talk vibes. So I don't know. I'm obsessed with it. But as you guys know, my day to day includes working. And I'm very grateful to be able to work from home, to take you guys with me, to all that. So we have some TikToks to film. Gonna take some pictures. I need to go to Walmart to get light bulbs because the lamp that's on my nightstand, or my now side table, has a light bulb in it, but it doesn't work. So I need to get some light bulbs. So we're gonna do that later. Also, it's kind of gloomy outside. Like, I don't know if you can tell. It's kind of cloudy out, which I'm actually pretty stoked for because it's been super, super nice and sunny recently. And I don't know what it is, but sometimes when it's really sunny and nice out, it's hard for me to be productive because there's something in me that's like, no, you need to go outside and enjoy outside, not be in here, like doing your job, but it's like you have to do your job so then you can enjoy those sunny days on the weekend. So yeah, but I'm kind of happy that it's gloomy. So now I'm just uploading my video to YouTube. Let me show you guys behind the scenes of that. Basically, I get my little clippy clip, upload. All right. And like this is my description that I always have. Like you can set these. If you're trying to do YouTube, just like, I don't know, behind the scenes of YouTube, but I have, I make sure that in all my descriptions it automatically does hi. 
and those emojis because I just like those emojis at the time when I was making that and I have all my socials my TikTok, my Instagram, my email, and I tell you guys which vlog camera I use. Um, so yeah, and then it'll just do its thing, like it has 51 minutes left, and then it'll go through checks. That's the thing, it's like super exciting, because it'll be like, oh, you have 50 minutes left for it to upload, and then you, it's uploaded, but then it's like, okay, now you have another hour for it to go through like copyright checks and just like making sure everything's good. So, I feel like I wanna show you guys my closet, I don't know why. Have I ever showed you my closet? This is my closet. It's not really anything super exciting. I mean, I'm happy that I have this much space, but I still kind of want to like figure out how to organize it better, but it's just the least of my concerns. But anyway, I have all my pants over here and then I have white. They're not really organized in like tank top, t-shirt, long sleeve. Cause that, I mean, even if I just started doing that, it would just disappear so fast that it doesn't even matter. Are we focused? We're like not that focused, but that's fine. Um, whites and then they go into the the like creams to browns to grays to blacks then my like tiny little section of color and then my long sleeve shirts and my sweaters and I have my robes here and tucked in this corner is my like big t-shirts and um like underneath everything I have like sweatpants just comfy shit and then like socks and underwear and then up there I can't even like reach up here like this is me on my tippy toes uh, I just, I, I had them folded at one point, but since I can't reach, I'll just chuck them up there and like pull them down. But sweatshirts, hoodies, sports bras, shorts, PJs, and then my leggings are all back here because I just really haven't been into wearing leggings recently. Like I've been very more into wearing shorts to the gym, which also I decided I'm not going to go to the gym today. <laughs> That's okay. And I decided that like I was testing something new this morning, like waking up, not going to the gym first thing. Um, I don't like that. Like... I just, it, it doesn't work for me because it's like 11.18, I haven't had breakfast yet. That doesn't happen when I go to the gym. So I need to just go to the gym in the mornings. But I got a HelloFresh delivery, so it's downstairs in my package locker, so we need to get that later today. But for now, I'm just gonna get ready. I'm gonna film my TikToks, do my shit, and then I'll see you in a minute. I don't know what I did with my hair, but like if I let my hair sit for too long in a towel before I do anything with it, it just, the roots get like really... I don't know. I mean, we have some volume. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Anyway, obviously, I did my makeup. I've been using the, um, I wanted to test out the Makeup Revolution IRL Filter Longwear Foundation, and it is a longwear foundation breathable soft matte. The coverage on this is beautiful. Like, it's, when you put it on, like, you barely need to blend it. Like, it just goes so beautifully onto the skin, and I don't know. But I'm going to do my lower lash mascara, and then... I have a new butter gloss from NYX that I want to try out with you guys. I decided that, first of all, I'm kind of in like this process of figuring out how to optimize my routine and just like my day to day. Because when you have a job where you're fully in charge of yourself and your schedule, obviously it's really nice, but it gets a little like, woo, like what are we supposed to do? You know, like it, it gets a little like, whoa. Um, so like right now, like usually like I make sure like I film and then I go do my, my after work activities, right? But with my job, I don't necessarily have to wait till after work to do my stuff because I can do my work at any time of the day. Hang on, let me find this lip liner because I cannot find it. I still haven't eaten. It's 1247. It's almost one o'clock. I still haven't eaten breakfast. Like this is one of the reasons I have to go to the gym in the morning. I don't know what it is because it's like, I'll be hungry. But just something in my brain is just like, and it's not like, oh, you don't work out so you can't eat. It's not like that. Like, it's nothing like, it's not like a negative relationship with food. It's just like, I will go about my day and if that part is missing from my day, then that part is missing from my day. So like, I need to, yeah, I need to work on that. But anyway, I'm about to go to Walmart to get my light bulbs because I feel like I won't do it after I film and stuff. So we're going to do that right now. And then we're gonna like come back and film. But I got ready and everything. I just put on a, like a regular outfit. But this is the NYX lip liner in the shade Espresso, which you guys know I love the brown shade. But I was at Ulta the other day and I was like, let me try Espresso. So I still like have foundation or whatever on my lips. I have to like hold my hand like this to have a steady hand for lip liner. You know what else I should do? I should cancel my Crunch membership, but I don't think I can cancel it until later this month. Anyway, butter gloss and lava cake. It's like a brown, and I've never used a brown color on my lips. I don't know. I just was not expecting it to be this pigmented. It's 
very vampy. It's very pretty. I'm happy I got it, but I don't think this will be my like day to day. It's just a little too much for me. And I don't like how there's no definition between the lip liner and the actual lip shade. So definitely won't be my day to day, but nonetheless, it's pretty. And then I picked up the shade um, Fortune Cookie. So we're going to try that. I'm going to take this one off though. Also, I feel like it's going to rain later, so I'd rather go out right now, like before rain happens. Okay, Fortune Cookie is super light. Oh, I love that. You guys just saw how easily that like blended into itself. Wow, gorgeous. I also need to get my oil changed. That's the problem for later this week, but wow. Me? I literally just blow dried my hair and like I used this before I blue dried it though. I feel like this is like and it smells so fucking good. Wow, I, I've been loving doing my makeup lately. Like, I'm going to start doing, like, makeup makeup videos on my channel. Also, look what I picked up from TJ Maxx the other day. I only have one makeup palette. So I got another one. And I feel like the Morphe ones are really fun to get because there's so many colors in them. And they're at such, like, a low price point. So I feel like for beginners, it's, like, really good. Because it's, like, okay, like, you have your pinks. You have your nudes. You have greens. And you have, like, softer colors, darker colors. Like, it kind of just makes sense. You get, like... You get a little bit of each, and this was only, um, I think this was only like $13.99, $14.99 from TJ Maxx. And even when you buy them at Ulta or whatever, like, they're still pretty affordable for what they are, so. And, like, the, the pigmentation, amazing. Love it. Also, I got another package delivered. I don't know what it is, so I'm assuming it's PR, which is awesome, but I just have no idea what it is. Oh. There's something stuck to me. What the fuck? This was literally stuck to my ass interesting um my youtube video uploaded and it can be published now so i'm just gonna make sure everything's good i like doing this part from my phone like i upload it on my computer but when it comes to like publishing it and everything i like doing all the edits on my phone on youtube studio because it's just so much easier save yay the first episode of cat shows out how exciting one thing about this elevator is i think that it means a mirror because it's cute like it's a cute little elevator I don't know what the fuck just happened, but you guys just like ate shit basically. Not really, you didn't fall or anything, but like I went to grab you and you, you got scared and you shut off. I don't know what the fuck that's about, but I don't understand this camera that much, so I'm just gonna hold you. Um light bulbs. I'm pretty sure that's the only thing I need from Walmart. Like I do not need anything else. I will not buy anything else. Because also, my Walmart is so fucking stressful and, whoa, I love how much you can see me. My Walmart is, like, so full of stress. Like, yesterday when I went, what did I need yesterday? Oh, I was buying, like, essential oils and a spray bottle so I can make, like, my own little, like, um, like, just, like, spray it around the outside, like, to keep, like, spiders and stuff away. Um, I was literally in the parking lot trying to park and i was in like where the front is so like there's the crosswalk and i was like angled because the car in front of me stopped so i had to stop obviously but it was blocking the way of like other traffic going that way and this guy threw his hands up in the air that was like trying to come and the way that i was angled was i could see him like straight on through my window i could see into his windshield from my window he threw his hands up so of course me being me i laughed and i was like ha <laughs> And he pointed at me, did finger guns, put it to his head and pretended, you know. And I was like, you're that mad in the Walmart parking lot? I can't even imagine what sets you off. Like, really? We've arrived, we've parked. Here's my pro tip. Um, okay, I love Walmart. Like, I'm not a Walmart hater. This fucking Walmart, if you go anytime after 8 a.m., 9 a.m., it's hell. It's hell. Literally everybody that lives in my town, I swear to God, they are here at all day, like all the time, all hours of the day. And I'm like, wh what do you mean? Like, and everybody's just so fucking like cranky here. And I'm like, holy shit. Like when I lived beachside, it was a smaller Walmart. And I was like, I, I went to that Walmart for fun. I went to that Walmart to relax. 
this Walmart, literally, I, if I do not have my AirPods in and I don't, I literally will go on and I'll look up, like, okay, ready? Light bulbs, Walmart. So that I can find the exact aisle number that it's in in this specific Walmart. Holy tits, bro. Like, this is the shit I have to do for this Walmart. And I'm not, like, a super anxious person. Like, I don't get anxious very easily, but I get overstimulated real easy. And this Walmart, it's like, you know, like, cart, um, like, what's it called? Cart, uh just like aisle decency car decency like if you're in the aisle and you're just like stopped looking like you pull your car to the side no these motherfuckers will just leave it in the middle and when you like look at them to try to get by they like look at you like you're crazy for even considering passing them aisle a20 awesome let's go you're not coming with me i can't handle that successfully got light bulbs can you see am i sweating oh yeah of course i'm sweating it's so goddamn humid out i use the one size like no sweat primer and i really like it because it really does like help you literally not like not sweat but it's just like your makeup doesn't start to like get wet if you do sweat you know um but this i'm fucking hot it's so humid out anytime it's gonna rain like i was saying earlier it um seems like it's gonna rain i need this air to be like on it seems like it's gonna rain it always gets so goddamn humid but anyway Light bulbs acquired. Hello Fresh acquired. And I'm pretty sure I got PR from Rare Beauty. Ah! We're gonna open together. I I mean I'm, I think I know what it is because like I follow other girlies that have got this PR. I think it's the lip oils, but like ah! we'll open my Hello Fresh in a minute so I can show you guys what I have for the week. But I like I remember when they messaged me on Instagram and they're like, hi, like, we'd love to add you to our PR list. I was like, you're lying. Cause like, I've really been just trying to like branch out of only doing fashion on my TikTok and I feel like it's working. <gasps> Guys, I feel like blessed right now. I'm feeling very blessed. Oh my titties. You wanna see the experience I just experienced? Are you serious? I don't even know what to do. I don't even know what to do. I'm like, I can't wait for the next season of Only Murders in the Building too. If you guys don't watch that, it's like a very lighthearted murder mystery, but it's like more like funny than like murdery. It's more mystery funny than like scary. There was one part in it though that scared the shit out of me. And I like listen to cr true crime. So it's like, if that scared me, I really want to like post this on my Instagram though. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just take a picture of my Instagram story. The lighting is not the best in here. Also, you guys are like wicked crooked, sorry about that. Like, oh my tits. Should we try one? Um, let's try happy. We're gonna try the shade happy. First impressions. These are lip oils. Oh. oh my god what the fuck those feel like cold like they go on cold and like very lightweight like look like you see this if I told you this was like uh what, what do we used to call those what the fuck am I trying to say like a matte lip A lippy? Is that what we used to call them? I don't know. If I told you like, oh, I'm trying out this new matte lippy, you would believe me. It's cold going on and it literally feels like you're putting like, not even oil, like when you touch it, it feels oily, but like when it goes on, it feels so watery and like, oh my God. Me being really good at my job for getting to tag them next time actually you know what let me let me let me be better they're like it's like tingly are these like plumpy like what the, what the fuck is going on let me read about them innovative gel to oil formula buildable pinch of color and shine instant hydration all day comfort Just look at that Just look at that dude amazing that's like a very pretty color wow 
I can't wait to give my mommy one. My mom loves lip stuff, but she's so picky about it. She doesn't like gloss, but she likes shine. And she likes color, but like not too much. I feel like even the shade I just tried, like she would love. But also, it's time to open my Hello Fresh. Here's what's on the menu this week. Balsamic fig chicken. Also, if you guys don't know, Cat's Kitchen is up and running. So sometime this week, you'll get a Cat's Kitchen episode. We have balsamic fig chicken with roasted potatoes and mixed greens. Looks delicious. We have garlicky sumac, 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 chicken and chickpea bowls with basmati rice, lemony hummus sauce, and parsley. Sumac is a bright tart Middle Eastern spice that adds a lemony tang to chicken. She's looking like this. And then I have a black bean and green pepper burrito with Monterey Jack, pico de gallo, cilantro, lime, rice, and guacamole. And it was supposed to come with ground beef, but I switched out for ground turkey. I don't know if this like works, but if you guys want to try it, you could scan that or use that code. And I guess it will be claim $15 off your second and third box for using this. But also, like I said, I use the code Morbin. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's pink. This is my balsamic fig. This is my garlicky chicken. And this bad boy is my burrito. And all these goddamn ice packs, bro. I'm gonna need to start giving these away. Also, I don't know if you guys are into cottage cheese. Um, I'm into good cottage cheese. The pineapple cottage cheese. When I lived in Maine, there's this brand called Hood. And if you're from New England, I think it's a New England brand. Brand. Okay, anyway. Uh, literally the best cottage cheese ever. Like, so sweet, so creamy, so good with the pineapples in it. Holy shit. And my mom found this brand. It's like the lactate brand, which is cool because it's not dairy. I bet it has soy in it, though. Oh, no, it is. It is dairy. Anyway, whatever the fuck lactate is, that's the brand. And it's amazing cottage cheese. Cottage cheese has so much protein in it. This has four servings, and a serving is a half cup, so does that mean it has two full cups in here? Half, 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 half. Yeah, two cups. And in each half serving, there's 10 grams of protein, which means there's 40 grams of protein in this whole thing. Mmm. In 140 calories, 100... 30 calories, that's like what? What's three times four, 12? So like 30 times four is 120. And then plus 400, so like 520 calories in this whole thing. 40 grams of protein. I don't know if you guys know this. I surely fucking didn't know this. Buying light bulbs is hard. There's too many options. And I'm not the only one because there was a guy in the aisle. He was standing right next to me. First of all, the aisle that I looked up, it was the wrong aisle because I was at the wrong store. And then I looked up the right store and it gave me the wrong aisle number. So I was like, well, that's dumb. Um, but anyway, there's a guy next to me. Oh, here. This is what the lip oils look like in real life. Wow, they're pretty. And I just ate. Like, you watched me munch. Like, they're so sheer, but they're so pigmented. Let me not toss these around like they're not glass. Um... But yeah, there's a guy in the aisle next to me, like right next to me in the aisle. Do the same thing, like sending pictures to whoever he needed to buy light bulbs for. I was doing the same thing with my mom and I was just like, am I supposed to get these ones or these ones? And what's the difference between daylight and soft light? So I don't know why I make things so hard for myself because I could just pull the couch out a little. And have a lot easier time. Huh? See, look at that. Okay, let's hope I do this right, guys. Let's hope they fit because also there's different sizes. Like they can look the exact same, and they're different. Hmm. I really hope these are nice and bright because I do not fuck with dim light bulbs. <coughs> Do you think when the man that invented the light bulb, do you think he knew that there was going to be this fucking 
many. Um, I mean, that's not like the brightest light I've ever fucking seen. Okay, no, actually, that's a really bright light. This lampshade is just like very... <sighs> anyway, whatever, man. Got the light bulbs. Oh, I was supposed to buy a penny on the ground today. Okay, well now I just want to play with all these lip oils with you. So we're going to do that. See, here's my thing. It's like, should I be doing this on TikTok? Yeah, because then it's like, oh, TikTok, you're actually like trying something new. Maybe I should do this on TikTok. Maybe I don't want to do this with you guys. Yeah, mm, we're going to do it on TikTok. So I literally... Those lip tints, like those leave a fucking tint. I tried all of them for TikTok, so if you want to watch, go watch. Let me remove this camera. Hey, you guys here. But I like tried so hard to get it off. Like that is a lip stain if I've ever seen one. I'm so excited. It's so like, it's so exciting for me to get like makeup PR, like just like beauty PR because it's like, I don't know, like, I'm so in the clothing realm on TikTok, which TikTok has been fucking playing with my views lately, and I'm not okay with it. You know what? I'm just gonna pretend, like, like, I was just talking about the, in my video about comfort zones, like I said again, go watch it if you haven't already. Um, <clears throat> like, okay, me having the amount of followers on TikTok that I have right now is something new for me. I've never been there before. I've never experienced what it's like to make videos at that level. You know what I'm saying? It's like, 513,000 people like that's a shitload of people but like in my mind it's like oh well like this person has this many and then blah, 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 blah. so like comparison it's like very harmful right but it's like when I had no followers and I was making videos I wasn't expecting my videos to do very well like I knew that the consistency would get me into where I wanted to go and I kind of just need to reframe my mindset back into that like okay yeah you're at this new level but you're at the very bottom of this new level so like you need to be consistent at this level to get to the next level it's just because I went from zero to 500,000 doesn't mean that I can just stop and be like, oh, well, I'm done. Like, I did what I needed to do. And I think for a little bit, I was kind of just, I was kind of just like expecting my videos to do well. Because, you know, like, the more followers you have, the more views you'll get. Like, that's just, it goes hand in hand. But that's not always the case, especially with the TikTok algorithm. We don't know what the fuck goes on there. So, but I'm about to film my videos for today for TikTok. So, I'm going to, like, redo my lips. I, like, took off. Some of my makeup around my mouth too just because like i was literally trying to get this tint off but i couldn't so i'm just gonna touch up with a little bit of concealer is it raining oh baby it's raining i knew it was gonna rain oh yeah i think we're about to enter like rainy season in florida so it'll probably rain for like five minutes and then it'll stop and it'll be like 97 million degrees outside oh my gosh deja vu from doing this earlier it stopped raining. That literally lasted for less than two minutes. Okay, this is the shade Cinnamon Roll in the Butter Gloss. This is usually the, the color more that I like. Like it's a little, it's like dark, but you could still see the difference. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of fortune cookie right in the center too. Yeah. Yeah. See, the sun's out. Look at her. I'm in the middle of filming one of my TikToks. I'm styling my white vans. Not three, not six, but nine fucking ways. And I'm really excited because I haven't done one of these videos in a long time. And I don't know what it is. I'll go through phases when I do them. And it just makes me so happy when I do them again. And I don't, I'm like, why did I ever stop doing them, you know? I don't know where, like, the majority of my clothes are right now because they're just scattered everywhere. So... That's a little issue. Like this just came from the floor. I need a white button up, which is like, I know that I'm washing most of my white button ups right now, so. This is like the reality of like my filming. It's like this camera will just stay on. And I'm like, sometimes I'm a little bit more, like I prepare myself a little bit better and I'll like get all my clothes on the clothing rack that I need so they're right there for me. But other times I'm just like, why the fuck? I can't be bothered to do that right now. Especially when I don't know where my shit is. Like. 
it takes more effort for me to get it all done at once rather than like finding what I need and then getting it. So the energy that I like project in these videos is so like, ah, and when I like have to like take these breaks, like I don't know why I like rush. Like I'm like, okay, uh, not three, not six, but nine fucking ways. Wait, yeah, you want to do this bitch? Yeah, let's go. And then like I feel like, like when I'm like not in front of the camera, like trying to like get my outfits on, I need to just chill the fuck out a little bit. You know, actually that's funny because this corset's from Steve Madden too. I haven't talked to them in a while. Like I haven't worked with them in a long time. I'm sad about that. Okay, scratch these pants. Um, sheer and undeniable chaos has ensued. It's gotten worse. It's gotten so much worse because guess what? Now it's even out here. It's in here. It's in my closet. It's everywhere. It's growing. It's multiplying. This was my last outfit. I'm, uh, I forgot that this blazer doesn't have a button. I just finished up filming for the day. It's 4.04. So I am going to eat something. Because all I've had today was that fucking cottage cheese. I need water. I need coffee. I need a clean. But that's for later today. <laughs> Okay, me, I just finished having a little mental breakdown issue. Not not a truly real mental breakdown, but it was kind of, um, so I finished filming my, my TikTok. Also, my shirt's on backwards. What are you gonna do about it? You're not, it's my thought. Um, hang on, before we start talking, it's 5.50. What have I eaten today? That cottage cheese. Is that acceptable? Absolutely fucking not. So, we're going to fix that right now. Um, I'm not going to cook any of my HelloFresh right now. I have a piece of salmon that I'm going to cook. Just like rice, salmon, broccoli. So good. Um, but yeah, so... Oh, oh, hang on. Let me, let me finish one thought. I'm going to make a chocolate banana peanut butter protein smoothie right now. To like get my happiness levels back up. You know? Also, this is the protein I use. It's from Wellco. So here's what happened. I was, I filmed my video, right? Like I filmed my video, it was great. I edited my video, awesome, perfect. It was glorious, okay? I loved it. And then I go to upload it on TikTok and immediately the quality is just like, shit. Like it looks like I filmed it on an iPod, okay? And I was like, what the fuck? And of course, TikTok hasn't really been that nice to me lately and it has been like not giving me views and not really like, you know, like it's just been shitty. And too from a business side of things like obviously like if you're on tiktok just to like fuck around and be on tiktok and you get annoyed i really can't stand that this is in backwards but like if you're like oh i don't get any views on my tiktoks like okay valid fair like if i didn't care about my tiktok i wouldn't care that i don't get views but now that it's like a stream of income it's like if a brand sees low views they're gonna be like oh like no pass like next and it's like okay great like <laughs> i need to pay the bills you know what I'm saying? So it's a little bit stressful and it's not so much of a like a bruised ego if it's like oh like my video didn't do good like I I, I suck like no because like it's good content and you know like uh. so anyway long story short it finally uploaded normal and I'm gonna like try my best to not go on TikTok for the rest of the night just like let the video do what it's gonna do because me checking it isn't gonna make the view count any different. Like it's either gonna do good or it's gonna do bad and I'm just gonna have to, I'm, I'm just gonna have to accept it either way. Like there's nothing I can do. Like I can sit there and be like, oh, like it's not doing good, I'm so sad. Or I can just deal with it and be like, all right, like shit happens and I'll try again tomorrow, you know? You know, so I'm gonna just try to not go on TikTok for the rest of the night. Fingies crossed, please, please. Pray for me. Like, you know what? Let's just be like, no, like, you know what? My TikTok is going to do good. The views are going to be great. It's going to do exactly what I want it to do. High views, high engagement. Great things. Great opportunities will come from it. I need to get more peanut butter. I love peanut butter. But I'm literally just going to, like, turn my phone off. Maybe not my phone off. Maybe I'll just delete TikTok off my phone for right now. TikTok and my mental health have been 
arguing with each other non-stop these days because like i said it's like wow it's one thing to be like oh my video didn't do good oh well but it's another thing to be like oh my video didn't do good so now i'm losing out on like opportunities for brand deals which is scary but my like manifesty self must be like that video is doing so well already like i just know like it's just doing well so I don't know guys but also so many people have been commenting and they're like I haven't seen you on my for you page in forever like I follow you and like I haven't seen any of your videos recently I'm like wow wow thanks TikTok you want to try to stop yourself from getting banned pick it up pick it up also lemonade have you guys heard of that yet I'm not I'm not really vibing with it that hard. Like, I feel like you just go on and it's just like words, words, pictures, videos, words, words. And it's like, it's too much for me. But anyway, it's 5.54 right now. I really don't like, like if I ask somebody for the time and they say, oh, it's six o'clock, but it's 5.54. No, it's not. What are you doing with that other six minutes? That six minutes, that means so much. Like, imagine somebody told you to do, do push-ups for five minutes. Six minutes. It's 5.55. Um, that's a long time, so don't discount time like that, okay? I my vitamins yet. My special someone is coming home this weekend. It's not like guaranteed 100%. I mean, it is, like, guaranteed 100%, but, like, it also, like, it could change. So, I'm going to leave. Not go on my phone. I'm going to watch some Gilmore Girls. Maybe I'll color. I have a coloring book. I, I think I'm going to color. That'll that'll be good for my mind. Um, Beautiful. Yeah, I think I'm just going to color, vibe out, not go on TikTok. I'm really tempted to go see, but it, it won't change anything. Whether I look at it or not right now, it's not going to change anything. But guess what? Here I am. I know that video will do well. I don't believe that. I want to believe that because it's a good video. But I've really just been like, I feel lost. I feel, I feel bamboozled. I feel, feel betrayed by TikTok, but it's fine. It's fine because me right now, let me, let me feel it. Let me, let me think about something like, okay, imagine if somebody came up to me right now and said, hey, Kat, that video you just posted on TikTok got over 2 million views. I'm just going to start like, okay, if somebody said to me, but like, no fucking way. No fucking way. That's so cool. That makes me so happy. Like 2 million views. And now I'm stoked. Now I'm stoked. Now I'm ready. Now I'm like. Fuck yeah, let's go make more videos. Let's go, let's go get the content out. Let's get on my email. Let's I'm gonna go color. I'm on live on TikTok. So everybody gets to say hi. Say hi. What are we talking about? We're talking about um Did you guys just hear that accent? What the fuck was that? I get a lavender iced tea from the tea room. Yummy. I take anxiety gummies. I love you guys. You're so fucking cute. I need to make my rice. I'm, I'll just keep the vlog on while we're live. But I was talking to the live girlies about just like me being just like in a like weird, just like not feeling great about content and it just kind of sucks. But like they like really hyped me up and like got my, got my heart fluttering again, you know? Got my vibes back and I appreciate you guys. I almost moved to Virginia with Mr. Boyfriend when we dated the first time. Literally the rare beauty like it's still like it's still a lip stain like wow What time is it? It's 8 42. I just have been I'm just eating my snacks I got off of the live the live literally made me so happy. I need to go live more often because that honestly makes me so happy um But yeah, mr. Mr. Boyfriend mr. Man mr. Special someone We're gonna facetime in a little so I'm gonna just kind of chill for the rest of the night. I'm watching Jordan Lipscomb, which she's been just like my shit lately. Like she's been making me feel like it's okay 
to be like just doing your own thing because sometimes i feel like with content like i get like so like not even like comparison -y, but so wrapped up in like oh well this person's doing this and it's working really well for them so i should do that and it's not even like well them i don't know maybe it is like a comparison thing and like obviously like people compare themselves all the time like nobody's like nobody's immune to it but it's just like what you decide to do with it but anyway she's just like reminding me that like you can just be at home you can just be chill like you can just hang out and it's it's okay like it's good vibes and like i'm a very much hang out person like i'm not a partier <coughs> oh ew <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog today i hope you had fun with me i hope i hope you have a good time and on that note I hope you have a good fucking day.